हेलो एवरीवन इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सॉ द फॉर्मूला ऑफ सरफेस एरियाज एंड वॉल्यूम्स ऑफ अ क्यूबॉइड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टडी द सिमिलर थिंग फॉर क्यूब्स वंस वी नो द फॉर्मूलाज एंड वंस वी नो हाउ टू यूज देम वी कैन इजीली अप्लाई देम टू सॉल्व मेनी डिफिकल्ट प्रॉब्लम्स डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन रिसीव नोटिफिकेशन ऑन ऑल सच अपडेटेड वीडियोज Now talking about a cube a cube is nothing but a three dimensional version of a square similar to what we saw in the previous video where we talked about the cuboid which was a three dimensional version of a rectangle now for a cube we again have length breadth and height but since it is a three dimensional version of a square all these dimensions are equal so let us assume that the side of a cube is a units now this units can be meter centimeter or any such unit used to measure length of an object so the first formula that we derive for the cube is the volume we have seen that volume is nothing but the space enclosed inside this three dimensional object or the material required to completely fill in this object Volume can be calculated by simply multiplying all the dimensions of the object. Since we are talking about the cube, all the dimensions are equal. We have three dimensions: your length, breadth, and height, and all of them are equal. When we multiply them, we obtain a cube cubic units. Be very careful about the unit that is used. Since three quantities are multiplied, the unit becomes cubic. units okay units is again meter centimeter or any other unit that is used in the problem next is total surface area of the cube total surface area is nothing but the sum of the areas of all the surfaces of that object now when we talk about the cube it is made up of six squares so we have to add the areas of all these six squares we can look into the image and see that first and second are the top and bottom squares third and fourth are the squares on the sides that is left and right and fifth and sixth are the squares on the front side and the back side when we add the surface areas of all these squares we will obtain the total surface area of the cube now area of a square is nothing but a square that is side square a is the side that we have assumed so 6 into side square becomes the total surface area of the cube since we are talking about the area the unit will be square units so it can be square centimeter square meter or any other unit used in the question now last is length of diagonal of a cube now diagonal is calculated as square root of sum of square of all its dimensions for the cube all the dimensions that is length breadth and height are all equal to a so the formula becomes square root of 3 times a square now a square when comes out of the square root becomes a then the final formula becomes square root of 3 a units we have just used units over here because we are talking about the length of the diagonal so we need not use cubic or square in the unit so remember when we calculate volume of any object we use cubic units when we calculate area we use square units and when the length is calculated we will only use units We hope that the formulas of volumes and surface areas of cubes and cuboids are clear to you all. Do subscribe the channel and follow us on YouTube so that you can understand many problems solved using these formulas very nicely. Thank you.